Hey wow there folks, Alicia here. We are going to be doing a lunge into pistol squat progression today and we are going to be trying it on a raised surface and then if we're ready, gonna be trying it on the ground as well. So without further ado, let's get started. Now this raised surface could be a chair if you're turned sideways on it. Um, it could also be a stair or some weight plates, but what I want you to do is kneel on that surface with your toes tucked under. You're gonna hold on to the front of it. So you can imagine if this was a chair, I would just be quite close together. Um, and I could even have my knee off the front to begin with. You're gonna hold the front of that chair and rock back into a pistol position. You should get a stretch through your butt and be driving this knee over your baby toe while pushing your big toe into the ground. And then you're gonna come on back into that lunge position and then sink back into that pistol position again. Now we're gonna do a few of these and then we're gonna start playing around, hanging out in that low pistol position. But why don't you keep on going through this? So sinking back, big toe presses, and then I come back forward and while you're doing that, I'm just gonna show you a few things from the front here. So when I'm in my low pistol position, I don't want this knee caving in. I want it nice and solid with my big toe pressing into the ground. And so this knee will end up, depending on you, either lined up right in the center, it might end up over your pinky toe, but you wanna find a spot that feels good. All right, now I want you to come back into that low pistol position. Now holding on gently to the front of our chair or whatever we're using, bench, we are gonna bring our other foot forward and lift it off the ground a few times. My heel should be planted. If this is a really short surface, I should still be here, but it's okay to have a curve in our spine in the back here because we're unloaded. Good, and then we can take a second shake out, come back into that low pistol position, position and raise those toes up on the other side. Good, okay, this last one, we're gonna try and do this while letting go. So get set up at the front of your bench again, tuck those toes, hold on to your raised surface, we're gonna go back into our pistol position, gently let go, see how it feels. If it feels good, we can raise up that other toe and hold on to it, or don't hold on to it, and then bring it down. Good, all right, let's try the same thing on the second side. Now, this would be a phenomenal warm up to do before trying some pistols. All right, facing the other direction, and I'm actually gonna do it facing the same way, I think. We're gonna tuck our toes, lean back, and then come forward. So find yourself noticing where does this movement feel limited? Do I feel tight in the front of my ankle? That's where I'm feeling today. Do I feel tight through the hips? Where is it difficult for me to exert? that stability and strength. Good, all right, one more of these and then we're gonna try our lifts. So sitting in that position, I'm gonna do it one more time just so it gets set up properly. Now I'm gonna lift the other side. And if you're feeling really stable here, maybe you aren't really holding on very much. Make sure that back heel is down Make sure I'm pressing through my toes. Make sure I'm not having knee pain here. Good, and shake it out. We'll try it again. Folding back, lifting. Good, coming forward again, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna try this time with letting go with those hands. So. Letting the spine curl, keeping the weight far forward. That's the secret to pistols. And now finding that pistol position and maybe lifting, maybe grabbing our toes, maybe trying not to. 
And then as soon as you're ready, come on forward. All right, so if all of that was easy, we can then take this down to the ground. So a small counterweight can be helpful here. If you want, now this could be a water bottle, but you're gonna go into your lunge position, remembering, pretending I'm holding onto that bench, coming into my low pistol position, and maybe lifting up. And then if it feels good, doing the full stand and trying it on the other side. In my low lunge, pretending I'm holding onto that bench, leaning back into my pistol position, doing my lifts and standing if it feels good. Good, shake it out. We've got about 30 seconds to play with this. Good, you could even practice coming back into your lunge here. But our goal is to be comfortable and active in this very aggressive and demanding position. Shake it out. All right, that is it for this lunge into pistol progression. I hope you enjoyed it and you're feeling a little loosened up and ready to rock and roll. Have a wilder day. <laughs>